There's no patch or any sort of pack state news to go over this week, so for this weekly recap, I want to discuss the recent developments in the game, especially regarding the last patch and my concerns about content updates. Let's get into it. So, last week's patch was mostly focused on bug fixes and minor adjustments. While I was initially pleased to see a lot of important bugs, including some game breaking ones, get addressed, I started to wonder if the developers were putting a little too much emphasis on fixing issues rather than adding new content to the game. Then as the weekend is coming to an end and we start approaching this week, for some reason I became even more concerned. I don't even know why. Then on Tuesday, which Tuesdays and Wednesdays is usually when they release a patch, or at least that's been the pattern recently, um, there was no announcement about an upcoming patch, which made me even more anxious. I even reached out in the Pax Day Discord to ask if we could expect a patch this week, but there was no replies from the developers, and it made me think how I believe the developers should be more transparent about what content they're actively working on now and plan to release as the first major update. Unfortunately, what I got instead was some backlash from some of the other players who felt that the developers owe us nothing, but I strongly disagree since we all invested in the game. Some other players also asked me if I had seen the roadmap that was released by the developers originally, but here's the thing, it doesn't specify the order in which things are being developed or any target dates. Even a general timeline, like, hey, this thing is coming in the fall, would really help us understand what to expect. My concern is that once players perceive a game negatively, it's tough to win them back. And let's be real, an MMO needs a solid player base, otherwise it's not really an MMO. Then, on Wednesday, the developers finally announced that a patch is coming next week. The announcement also included screenshots, which was kind of a sneak peek of some of the new features they're including in the next patch. This definitely eased my concerns a little bit, since at least we know that something's in the works and we are getting a patch next week. Again, we don't know what, what that is, there was no patch notes released, but on Friday, they then made another announcement which addressed the community's desire for transparency. I don't know if they saw my messages on Discord or other people were talking, but they did address it in this announcement. Uh, they acknowledged that they have a small team and the pace of development is a little bit slower, but they stated that they strive to be as open as possible. They also encouraged us to continue providing feedback and report issues, which, you know, I really appreciate. We do, we do need that. And it's good to know that they're listening to us. So even though we didn't get a patch this week, I felt more reassured by their announcements. However, I still wish there was a clearer time frame and a priority list for upcoming content. But what do you guys think? Is the lack of a specific timeline for updates a concern for you? Do you guys agree with me and you think that this not knowing what content is being worked on right now and is being released up next could drive players away? Or do you disagree and think it's better to keep some things on the wraps for now? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But that was it for this week guys. We'll see what comes out in the patch next week. Hopefully it's some good stuff we can celebrate. I know for sure they said there's going to be plenty of bug fixes so we'll see what's in store. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more pack state updates. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I need a better outro, man. You guys comment below what would be a good outro.